welcome to episode 71 of the Knitting Nurse podcast. My name is Jasmine and my pronouns are she and they. Today is Thursday, October 27th, 2022. And I'm late filming this once again. I'm trying to get all my stuff like organized without flashing it on the camera. But um, I have quite a bit to show. I'm like surrounded by yarn and yarn stuff on all sides. So first, I think I want to talk about dyeing a little bit. Um, because actually, no, I'll save that for last because I do have some news <laughs> regarding that. So I think we'll start with socks today. And um, just a little forewarning, if your name is Jesse, and you run a business called Mislead Pages, you need to close your eyes right this second. Although I'm pretty sure Jessie is behind on these things, so I doubt she's gonna be seeing this before she gets her package. But I do have two finished objects that I finished, washed, and blocked this week. So yes, I am proud of myself. <laughs> um, but first, I'm gonna show the socks. So I have these socks that I knit for my good friend Jessie and Miss Lee Pages. MissLeadPages.com sells beautiful fabrics <laughs> and yeah so she, her favorite color is rainbow and I really wanted to knit her a pair of socks um, because she's been having kind of a stressful time and I wanted to do something nice so I knit her some socks um, and I love these <laughs> I love this colorway this is the uh, rainbow self-striping yarn from Tall Pine Yarns on Etsy 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Base. Um, I have the extra, but it is going to Jessie. <laughs> it's like 30 grams of extra yarn because I did wind off uh, several repeats trying to make sure they matched. So yes, these socks are mirrors of each other. They match like almost perfectly. I'm so happy with the result. So Jesse's feet are quite a bit bigger than mine. So I did my, um, I modified my sock recipe. I cast on 10 stitches, increased up to 64 stitches for the toe. I knit 75 rounds of stockinette for the foot. Um, and I put in waist yarn and then I knit, like, I think I didn't count my rows, my rounds. I just knit, um, up until I knit like the rest of this rainbow and then I knit the black and then once I got once I started knitting the rainbow again I knit the rib the ribbing until I got to black again and then I bound off in the black yarn and they match they match like perfectly so Jessie likes shorty socks so I knit her a pair of shorties <laughs> And these look so good. I'm so excited. I wish I could use this as my thumbnail photo, but I can't. I can't have spoilers. <laughs> so, ugh. but yeah, I did something different with the heel. I did a, um, I did an afterthought heel with waist yarn for this. And I, I really love the result. I did Kitchener. And honestly, now that I'm pretty sure I've memorized Kitchener, um, I, hate it significantly less <laughs> it's actually kind of fun i like the flow so i think i'm gonna knit um i think all of my self-striping socks are gonna have cut in afterthought heels from now on i use waist yarn for this because i um because basically the the individual stripes of the rainbow are only like two to three rounds each and i didn't want to lose too much of that length so I did an afterthought heel with waist yarn instead and I think it turned out really nice. Um, this sock I ended up having to weave in my ends to close the gap as you can see but for this sock I didn't weave my ends and I didn't weave my ends around the gap to close it instead the gap is mostly closed but I did um, I basically crisscrossed the first and last stitches of each like side of the needle and that's how I closed the gap and I think it I think it looks fine 
Um, with any kind of heel, you're going to have a little bit of gapping, but as long as it's not too egregious, it's fine. I don't mind it too much, and I don't, I think most knitters um, have kind of accepted a little bit of gap in the heel as such. Um, I did wash these. These are a little bit damp, but they're mostly dry. I'll lay them flat because um, they don't fit on my sock blockers because they're really big. I am, I was kind of nervous that these would be too big, but I think when I hold them up to my own foot, uh, cause Jesse's feet are quite a bit bigger than mine. When I hold them up to my own foot, they look fine. And when I hold them up to other socks I've knit, they're maybe like half an inch to three quarters of an inch longer, which I think is like the actual foot length um bigger that we like the actual foot length difference that we are in terms of shoe size so yay like actual shoe size so I'm excited plus um she said she's a wide so I did knit I did cast I did have a few extra stitches on my needle but if she's a wide then her feet are going to fill out the sock this way and not this way and the thing about any kind of fabric is when it stretches one way it shrinks the other so I think it'll be fine um worst case scenario the socks are a little too big but honestly knit socks are mostly for wearing at home not necessarily in shoes anyways I just like to break the rules <laughs> so those are my socks sock fo for the week and because I finished these socks at home, I started knitting on my work socks this past week. So as you, so yeah, um, I did finish sock number one. So this sock is finished. I was right here the last time you all saw. And I, I kind of like what got over the ribbing. So I just did 10 rounds. I hope it looks, I think it'll look fine. Actually, I could probably try it on now. But I only did 10 rounds of ribbing because I just was over it. <laughs> and I think it'll look fine. Um, oh yeah, 10 rounds of ribbing looks perfectly fine. Oof. Can you see? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but... Uh, that's my foot. So yeah, I think it looks fine. Um, in terms of how the, in terms of like the length of the ribbing on the actual like knitted item, it looks a little bit short, but I think it's just because I'm used to longer ribbing lengths. But I think from now on, I'll just do 10 rounds of ribbing. Actually, no. What I think I'm going to do from now on, because I hate ribbing, <laughs> is a rolled hem on my socks because I do knit them toe up so it's really difficult to um pick up and bind off for a fold over cuff but what I can do is a rolled cuff and which essentially means I knit stockinette all the way up and let it roll down naturally the way stockinette wants to but a way that I can control how far the cuff rolls down is do like two rounds of of purling so reverse stockinette um and then a few rounds of stockinette of knitting um before I bind off so that it'll only roll down as far as the reverse stockinette goes so that is a good way to keep my socks nice and even and looking nice and I think they will look fine so that is sock number one I cast on sock number two and I finished the toe and I started working on the foot. So that's where we are. We are back in business. Back, the world is back to where it should be. I'm knitting socks at work and everything is as it should. <laughs> so <clears throat> um, the colorway I'm using, the yarn I'm using for this is called Straighten Your Crown. It is by Hypnotic Yarn for my Yarnable box. And the box was pineapple themed. So look how cute that is. It's pineapple. It's the yarn that like looks like a pineapple. It's so cute. 8515 Superwash Green Up Nylon. Um, plush sock base. 100 grams. You know the drill. 
this is what it looks like in the ball super super cute and I'm excited I'm glad these socks are half done I find that the second sock of a pair goes faster sometimes it goes faster sometimes it goes slower but the second sock of a pair generally tends to be um tends to knit up at a different speed than the first sock so ooh, let me put this label back in here as well so I am I'm hoping these go a bit faster uh, especially now that the toe is done I wonder if I could I, I don't know I find that I have less gapping with um, a short row heel than an afterthought heel and like with a short row heel I don't have to come back and pick up and knit the heel anyways so I might as well just do a short row heel when I'm knitting with one color an afterthought heel is mainly for um looks most people use them just for self-striping yarns and I think that's what I'm going to do from now on and oh because I finished Jessie's socks I did cast on another pair of house socks so I have work socks and house socks <laughs> Um, well, not another pair. I cast on the second of a pair of house socks and, um, they are self-striping as they tend to be. And I'm using Knit Picks Felici in the color Solstice. So this is what the yarn looks like. Um, this is the second sock in a pair. So this yarn is so soft. So this is what this the whole sock is looking like and i love it um these socks should match because i'm pretty sure i cast on 60 stitches i didn't i need to start making project pages especially for my socks because sometimes i forget like what specific things i do but this is sock number one this is sock number two these socks are cuffed down so i just cast on the second sock and left it at that um and I am up until like up until like the the le the foot I'm just counting stripes so I did two stripes worth of the cuff I think eight stripes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten stripes for <laughs> the um ten stripes for the leg fish lips kiss heel in a contrast color and then 70 rounds for the foot 70 rounds for the foot and then a fish lips kiss toe and then i did a three needle bind off for the top of the toe so it essentially had so i basically knit these um like commercial socks so that they have the seam on the top you can see so they have this seam on the top and I tried these on previously and I think they work they are they feel fine they don't feel any different than socks that I would buy in a store and I don't mind not a big deal um and at the time this was when I still like didn't really know how to do Kitchener stitch I, I didn't have it memorized I didn't like doing it but now um it might be easier to knit my toes in the round and um kitchener stitch them together especially since i won't have any gapping because i'm not picking up stitches i'm just knitting in the round all the way down to the end so yay <laughs> but i do think that i'm still going to do contrast um toes for my socks at the very least because i prefer knitting socks toe up in general I think I, I just prefer a stretchy bind off more than a stretchy cast on and I am nervous that this cast on here won't be stretchy enough I could like try it on and see if it goes over my heel oh yeah it does okay never mind <sighs> with the ribbing so I, I guess it'll be fine because the other sock goes on over my heel just fine so I don't know we'll see um I did a German twisted cast on at the um at the color transition so the tail of my yarn um is in one color and then the the stitches are in the other color 
next color in the sequence. So that's how I get the cast on to look like that. <laughs> um, I learned that from Crazy Sock Lady. So I think those are all my socks that I have. So next we're going to move on to other finished objects, which is just the one. And I finished my neon rainbow sea glass dress. <laughs> yeah, I finished my neon rainbow sea glass dress. It is still pretty damp, so I can't hold it up for too long. But this is what it's looking like. And it is washed, blocked, all the ends are woven in. Um, when I hold this dress up to my body, it comes down to just above my knees, which is perfect because when it's on, it will come up slightly. So it is an actual dress and I'm so, so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to wear this. I think I'm going to wear this um, on one of my next Twitch streams because I'm excited. So um, I knit this dress out of the main color. The black is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Weight. And then the contrast colors are a 31 day um, countdown, neon rainbow countdown by Malia Made It for the new year. And she is also doing another one for the holiday season. I did not buy it because I am under the assumption that it's going to essentially be exactly the same as this. <laughs> Just more consolidated into 24 skates instead of 31. So I don't need it, um, but I do have 10 advents that are coming to me in the very near future. Uh, two of which I'm going to be picking up today after I'm done filming this. <laughs> so I'm pumped. Advent season is upon us. Y'all, the yarn is coming. It's coming, okay? <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. So um, another whip that is very close to finished is my, my one-way road trip shawl. Oh, I love this thing so much. <laughs> my one-way road trip shawl by Marion Bullen. And as you can see, I did the bind off on one side entirely so I didn't do too much knitting on this so this right here is where okay this right here is where I was the last time so I had just started picking up and binding off um the cast on edge and I finished one whole like one side of the of one of the triangles and I'm on the other I'm gonna start working on the other half of this long edge and then I get to do the other two edges of this massive triangular shawl for the bind off. So I am very excited. I cannot wait. I successfully joined the gap. So yay me. <laughs> and I am doing the long tail version um, of this bind off. So I did already like basically just tuck the tail of the eye cord up through the center so I have to cut that so it doesn't pull too much and yeah I am excited I'm like how many times can I say I'm excited I don't know but <laughs> I'm excited this thing is almost freaking finished so close hopefully next time you see this it'll be completely off the needles the entire border will be done I'm hoping um, this shawl is knit using a four four skein gradient four skein fade plus um, an extra contrast color so I bought the Bayou fade set from knit picks um, in their stroll fingering weight base uh, the set the set is no longer available but the individual colors are and the individual colors are listed in my Ravelry project page. If you're interested in recreating this yourself. So, yay. <laughs> how exciting, how exciting. And yeah, so um, I really want this to be done. I'm ready for it to be off the needles. I did cast on kind of another shawl. 
Um, but I'm not going to show it because it's like not really much of anything. So, um, <clears throat> I'll work on it some more, but I'll show it on the podcast when there's like actually like more than four stitches on my needle. So <laughs> yeah, but anyways, um, oh, next I have my Stephen West mystery knit along and unfortunately this is probably the last time you will see this in the, in this colorway <clears throat> so i'm gonna show it spoilers for clue one i did finish clue one completely so that's exciting but spoilers nonetheless for clue one um although if you haven't seen Cl it's clue four just dropped so if you haven't seen clue one yet i don't know what to tell you <laughs> so <clears throat> Here is clue one. It is off the needles completely. And I have decided not to go forward with this shawl. Um, at least not in these colors. I'm not look, I don't like, I hated knitting this section and I'm not looking forward to the rest of the sections. I don't think they flow that well together. I don't think they mesh that nicely together. So I'm finished. I'm finished with this. Um, it's too late to rip it out because I've already bound off completely, but I'm finished. I'm done. So you can see this ditto marker is where I was last time. So I knit the entire rest of, <laughs> I was like halfway done not like less than halfway done and then I finished the entire rest of it. Um, I didn't, I was not enjoying myself very much. And I think when I do this, I, I think I'm going to try this again in different colors, um, more graphic colors. Yeah. I think I'll try this again in more graphic colors. Um, just to, just so that the shawl, the design itself pops a bit more, um, in colors that I, normally wouldn't pick out for myself so I do have all my yarns still and my needles and everything so I dyed all of these yarns myself and so this was my contrast color here none of these have names <laughs> yet I might recreate these um at some point this was my main color and then I didn't even touch. I wound it up, but I did not even touch my accent color. And I think I'm going to use these three colors because I still have full skeins of both of the other two colors. So I still have full untouched skeins left. Plus like more than half of the other two skeins. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead use these colors to make the Ray sweater um, because that uses three colors. It is meant for like two kind of low contrast colors fading into each other, like two low, low contrast colors. One fades into the next using stripes and then there is a color pop at the bottom of the um, sleeve cuffs and the, at the bottom of the body. So I think these colors are going to look fabulous with that sweater and I have the, like just enough yarn to knit it. So in my, in the size that I want to knit it. And so that's exciting. I'm definitely going to do make a swatch eventually at some point, um, probably soon because the yarns are already caked up and I'll use this. I don't know if I can make a pillow out of this, but I think I will like, I can take the ends and just like kind of graft like craft um the two sides together like maybe halfway and make a little kitty cape <laughs> for the cat and she can be the end cow for Halloween this year <laughs> so I'm finished I'm finished with the end cow unfortunately at least for now I'll attempt to do it again at a later date but not right now Okay, so um, I do have plans. I did. So <clears throat> I'm casting on a, a sweater for my birthday. And it is the Lace and Fade Boxy by Hohi Locatelli. 
And I did knit swatches. I knit swatches in US 4 and US 5s. And they're exactly the same. So I don't even know. I think I'm going to use a 5. Um, it calls for a 4, but I think I'll use a 5 because my swatch is a little bit more accurate. <laughs> and I didn't stretch. I think that's the other thing. I didn't stretch um, the US 5 swatch for... Um, when I when I did it plus there's a lot of positive ease swatch doesn't matter at like gauge doesn't matter as, as much but I did still want to swatch to make sure so yeah <laughs> um and using the dark gray fate set that I dyed a little while ago and it looks a lot darker when it's knit up I will say than in the skein like you can kind of see and i'm gonna also be using um undyed mohair knit picks a loft lace weight in bear or white is what they call it but it's bare it's undyed for the lace accents so that's all in my jesse project bag <laughs> and ready to go for my um twitch stream on Saturday, November 5th. It's going to be a 12 hour stream. I'm going to be starting three new projects. Very exciting. So those are plans for now. Um, and I also have a, a cast on a little bit of a shawl. Um, but I'm, I don't know, I may or may not rip it out and just leave the yarn and work on like anything else. All of these other things I'll work on instead. <laughs> Especially my slip extravaganza. I would like to get back to that. Okay, so let's get to yarn dyeing. So I can't show all the yarn that I've dyed this week because I there some of them are still wet. So I'll show three the three skeins that are dry. Um, I'm calling this colorway calm before the storm. And I'll just show one skein. So I have an announcement. Um, I am planning. I anticipate being able to sell my yarn over on my Ko-Fi shop. Um, I have to get everything set up and get the listings ready and dye more yarn to put up there so I can get everything up all at once. But I do plan on selling my yarn um, at some point, but very in the very near future, um, probably beginning of 2023. So January 2023, um, I hopefully we'll be starting to sell some of my yarn. So I decided this because I find it much easier to dye when I have, especially more variegated colorways, when I have like five or six or four or five um, skeins in a single pot. But I don't need four or five skeins of each color that I dye. Sometimes I just want one, one, one or two skeins to knit a pair of socks or a shawl. So what I'm going to start doing is selling the the excess essentially um and i'll also use the shop for like d stashes of like diamond paintings cross stitch stuff things like that so it's basically like my own personal little shop um but i do need to get other things ready and set up i need to buy shipping supplies i need to get um labels for the yarns i am starting to write down the colorways that i create so and also name them so Yes, I am very excited. So you can see this has some like lilac, lots of bare areas with some bright blue and those purple speckles in there. So yes, I'm very excited. So one of these I am keeping. Um, I would like to keep at least one skein of every colorway that I create so that I can make some socks. But I talk a little bit more about this in my Patreon vlog. So if you would like to know more and see the full process, um, go ahead and join me over on Patreon. It is only $5 per month. And I did opt in to um, the new billing system where they bill you every month, uh, where they bill you on the same day every month versus, you know, they bill you when you sign up and then they bill you again on the first of every month. Now they bill you um, when, when you sign up and then on the same day every month when you signed up. So these, so if you, if anyone, if there are any takers, 
stay tuned. Sit, just <laughs> sit tight because um, these will be for sale very soon. So yes, I'm excited. I'm so excited to get those, to get my stuff out there. Um, and I think that's all of the yarn stuff that I have <laughs> to show right now, at least that I can show right now. Um, so I'm going to put all of this stuff away and I'm going to put all the stuff away and then I'm going to grab the cross stitch that I worked on. Okay, so I worked on three projects this week. Um, and let's see, two of them are whips. One of them is a new start that you can kind of sort of see over here behind me. <laughs> so I guess we'll start with the new start. So... I started Lakapati by Bella Filipina. Uh, you can hardly tell what it is because there isn't much going on here. Um, I started this for the All Bellas Are Beautiful Sal that is being hosted by um, a few of my friends over on Instagram. Anyone can use the hashtag, but basically just stitch a Bella Filipina and use the hashtag. That's all we ask. <laughs> and yeah, so that's all that I, like, that's literally all I've stitched so far. And um, I stitched on this a little bit during my Twitch stream on Tuesday because I did finish my marathon goal. And I'll talk a little bit about that soon. Um, but I have two minders on this thing two Pokemon minders and the fabric I'm using is from under the sea fabrics um, in the color enchanted forest 32 count linen and I'm stitching this on scroll frames because I want to um, I want to bead the pattern as I go <laughs> Cause there's a lot of beads in this thing. So I'd like to bead this thing as I go and it's going to live in these scrolls until it's finished. I would like to finish that piece next year. Hopefully I can do it. We will see. So next, um, I did work some on my with go goal and I forget how far I've gotten. I think I have like 1500 stitches left to go, but I might just call it here because I don't know if I want to, I think I'm feeling like I want to put this away right now. So um, here is Freebie Harmony from Heaven and Earth Designs. It is still a freebie pattern. If you would like it, you can go to the Heaven and Earth Designs website and click on free patterns. Um, but this is how far I've gotten so far. And this is stitched two over one tent stitch on 28 count using all the called for dmcs and i love it it's a bit it's a parrot it's a large colorful parrot this piece is um not small <laughs> it's rather large and like four and a half percent complete with this thing so i don't know maybe maybe i'll try putting it back on my frame um and stitch on it and see if i'm still feeling it if i'm still feeling it obviously i'll continue stitching but we'll see We'll see, especially since I already met um, my main goal for the month. So speaking of my main goal, I reached my goal for um, Marathon for MMIW G2S this year. And I met my yearly goal for this piece, which is so exciting. So my stretch goal is to finish this page. This piece is Super Size Next Color a Stitching Shelf by Heaven and Earth Designs. And you can see that I got quite a bit finished on this. Like most of this key is done. A lot of this bare area of the ground is finished. Um, a lot of this balloon here is done. I just have like this two thirds left of the page <laughs> to do. And yeah, this is stitched um, one over one full cross on 25 count Lugana. 
And this is, this whole thing here is 5%. This is one, two, three, four, and like a half or like most of a fifth um, page. So like four and a half pages is 5% of the entire thing. So this thing is massive. Look at that. <laughs> that is a lot of um, a fabric and a lot of stitching. So this is a very long term project for me. But I love it. I'm excited to keep going with this. So I met my yearly goal. My stretch goal is to finish the rest of this page and take it off the hoop um, before I move it at the beginning of next year. So that's my stretch goal. I think I can meet it. Um, especially since, I don't know, I'm really, I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling working on this. I love working on this. I'm having a lot of fun. So yes, that's the hope. And if I don't meet my stretch goal, that's why it's a stretch goal. It's, I met my main goal. That's all that matters. So, oh, I'm so excited. So excited. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to go over my cross stitch stuff really quickly, but that's all I really have to show for today. Um, I don't have a ton to like say about anything, especially this because I just started it. Um, but and the other two you a lot of you have seen before. So hopefully um, I can get my whip go goal done for this month um, on Harmony. And if not, then I'll work more on La Capati and I might pull out Dark Queen again. So I'm excited. I'm really feeling so I need some over two stitching in my life. I need over two stitching in my life. Oh crap. I forgot to pull out my stiatch. Um, I'll pull that out next week because the stitch along is far from over. So yes. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I hope you find joy in everything that you're working on and I will see you all next week. Bye.